What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode we are going to attack the city of Istanbul. And I have already fought this battle once and I got within 20 seconds of winning and the game crashed and I lost the recording. So this is the second time where I'm going to fight. Um, but my general strategy works. The overall idea is to pick these guys apart because this is definitely the easier army to fight um, before they can bring their infantry and reinforcements to bear. So the idea is to thin them down as to as weak as possible, swarm them, and then, uh, then yeah, hopefully you're in a good position inside the city that these guys either don't have time, well, mostly don't have time to bring uh, their full force to bear. So I think I'm... So what I did previously, which you guys can't see in that recording, was I put infantry here to reinforce me in case I had to route my... Or if I wanted to withdraw my foot artillery. What I'm actually going to do is put Dragoons up there instead. And this isn't based on a particular re particular um, experience gained from my last recording, but mainly because uh, if I do route some units, I'll want people that can get onto the field as quick as possible, and Dragoons are, Dragoons are it. They're the logical uh, decision, so let's attack same well i had the same strategy. when it comes to attacking cities like this fort easier to defend against well, they're easier to attack but i find them more difficult to defend against um they probably make more sense late game when you start to get more if they've got howitzers dropping quick climb and yes i did pause because i thought wait a minute has it all broken again um right so i'm gonna broadly do what i did last time um i had two guns facing this direction so the idea is they've got lots of broken walls. Well, not broken, but very damaged walls. They do have a breach back here, which is problematic because it gives the enemy an easier way to reinforce. Um, but what I previously did was I had, a, I had some artillery attacking straight on, as usual. Then I would have one smaller unit actually sit back about... I think it was here. Their job is to make some secondary breaches alongside this howitzer unit and then i had a good selection of my elite infantry to make an attack on a storm on this front and then i had my five infantry here to storm the front with the bulk of my artillery not being the one i've already picked up the bulk of my howitzer sorry here Put my cavalry over with these guys. Previously they were over here, but I want to put them over there. And then my general goes here. Let's get my... Okay. So my foot artillery start making entrances in. Field artillery. Or oh, this lone unit of howitzers. Um, the best thing for them to do for now is to drop round shot into the centre get some good kills against their massed cavalry but what this artillery piece wants to do is to attack here make a breach because as you can see most of their forces are actually clustered here in the middle and what you can do with this area of effect nature of quick climbing howitzers is I could drop them here and massacre them which is not a priority for now Mainly I want to focus on getting my breaches, weakening these units. Actually, it might be best to drop one shot, slap bang in the middle. Because the best time to kill these guys, on reflection I suppose, is after I've made the breaches. But I want to make three. I want to put one here, one here, and one here. So they can't um, mass in any one area to stop us. There we go, the artillery quick climb is about to fire. So, even though they're out of range, if you aim at the very extreme part of the extreme end of their range, you get this. Not as good, because they've got a couple of misfires, um, but that kind of thing is useful to weaken their centre, and this is why I was able to actually capture this city, or ca I think I was at about 25 minutes to capture this city. Um, that was chiefly because I was able to uh, overwhelm 
a fairly paper thin defence so quickly before the reinforcements could get onto the onto the field. Because you don't actually want to route units in this situation. Now I'm going to speed up. You don't actually want to route units, chiefly because if you route a unit, it will be replaced with a fresh one. So what you want is to keep it in the action, but in a weakened state. So that's why you don't... I don't want to kill all these people in the center. I just want to weaken them dramatically. Although these are, those are two misfires. There we go. So I'm going to pick over here now. I'm, I'm doing this while there's no useful targets to shoot at from an infantry front. front. So you guys hopefully will make your breach. Weirdly it doesn't so all the other uh, breaches when you make one there's kind of a big bang and it all collapses and it's all good fun but this one actually doesn't do that or at least it didn't in my last game it stayed as a yeah it was it stayed as a broken feature for quite a long time okay, instead of attacking them so you're 152, you're wavering. You've got guys outside of the walls, have you? No. I want my quick climbing artillery to now focus on the guys off of the wall. You should be focusing there, but I don't think you are. You should be focusing on that section of the wall there. Yeah, the name of the game is Multiple Breaches. That's what we want. Multiple ways in. It does make it more difficult to defend. It does make it more difficult to defend, but... There we go. You've been dilapidated or destroyed. And then attack this section. This piece on the end. Actually, no, you're not dead yet. Don't hit that unit that's already upset. Yeah, the name of the game, Weaken and then Swarm. So these guys should be aiming at, one of them should be aiming at the 42nd Auto that's up on that section of the wall there, although they're pretty badly damaged. Yeah, I do not want them to rout. That's the, the overall point I would make. Make sure my artillery does keep shooting. Because then, with one with one breach here, I can capture the gate, and I can capture some sections of the wall. That provides lots of infantry to swarm in through these barracks buildings um, to the rear. So there's another quick climb shot in over here. Don't route. Good stuff. There we go. Getting some good hits. Probably, to be honest, once we've made this breach, we will be... Uh, eh, would we be okay to... Would we be okay to advance? We probably would, but I would like the corner to be destroyed, and it will make things a bit tricky from a defensive standpoint, but that's why we rely on our income. Quick climb, well, missed quick climb. Yeah, there we go. It went 100% and then it just stayed like this. And then it does change, but. Unless there's like a, a rounding error. Okay, now these guys that are dropping quick climb, you actually start just dropping round shots on. Big chaps. There we go. And probably now is the time to begin the offensive. Maybe you guys might even want to attack that section of the wall as well, just to make sure it does actually collapse. 
although you've definitely not shot at them. You've got an excellent shot onto that gun team. Good God. Okay, the cavalry are coming, so let's run my men forward. Gloves are off now, fellas. You march forward like that, you're going to get trouble. You drop into square, let these guys run along a little bit further. Drop into square. Okay, so we're going to want to... Keep doing what we're doing, pretty much. Get this unit of hussars around the rear. There's a general's bodyguard unit that's coming in, but... You guys form square, but the rest of my armies keep pushing on. So this is the problem. Well, not the problem. What we want to do, what we must always bear in mind, is the fact that we are very much racing against the clock. like we do want to get guys up on the wall as quickly as we can push back the guys that are holding the breaches Pour men through the gaps. Attack the general's bodyguard. You guys climb up behind the walls, and to be honest, all of these guys can wait behind to pour in afterwards. So right now we've got a bit of a melee at the front, which isn't really what we want. definitely want to pick okay let's get all our hearts is dropping round shot for now drop round shot on the center yeah the resistance on this flank is it's not terrible yeah, you guys just get in there they've got the gate the gates are open So the key factor in what we want to achieve is this, this pouring in to the point where we can pretty much take our howitzers and just say stop firing, take our field artillery and say stop firing. Get our infantry in there, oh they closed the doors. Close the gates. 
So they have sallied out and they're starting to get some reinforcements into the fight, but not enough. To the point where we probably now want to start deploying formations to defend against this inevitable counter-attack. So let's dump a unit of marines. You guys, your job is to sit on the sit on the centre and do not relinquish control. You guys hit the Janissaries in the rear because they might actually cause problems. There we go. The gatehouse is ours, so now we just gotta run through it. Which means that the uh, they no longer have access to the gates. Get our troops inside the walls. Get our Grenadier Guards set up. So your job, Marines, is to hold. Yep, yeah, they've got a chance to try and do some damage to us um, outside of the walls here. What they might actually try and do is Okay, this is the most delicate part. Because what you don't want to do is uh, see a route. What we want to see is a well disciplined. And where the hell do those marines go? Too late, fellas. You guys can't get in here. Okay, no. You guys actually take over the armory instead. Could probably send some people to help support the breach here, but to be honest, this is what it did last time, and it's actually ended up six minutes quicker. Get the Grenadiers in there, because they love a bit of that. So where you guys fire it all off, just because their job is to just hold the centre. Hey, they managed to come in while some of my men are... Uh, otherwise occupied. However, in three seconds... Oh, that will be undone. There we go. So, that is how you attack a city that's got a bucket load of troops coming in to reinforce it. You have to weaken them down first before you go in, then you attack them from, as usual, everywhere in every direction. You have to make sure you don't kill any units, because if you kill a unit, it will disappear and a new unit will replace it. What you want to do is make it rout at the very last minute, so it has to go all the way to the edge of the map and this reinforcement can enter and come all the way back that's what you want to do and you want to get in here with sufficient strength that when they do start piling in if you've not yet taken it for whatever reason you can form like an inner defensive position to kill them as they come in but as it is we have done it and i'm going to stop taking risks and i'm going to end the battle here before it crashes and i win but because of that such a massive defeat for the loss of 830 men um, even though we did not fight those reinforcing armies because we defeated them so comprehensively, they lost 10,000 men. Is it cheap? Well, yeah, kind of, I guess. Um, 
I'm not deliberately doing anything. It is cheese, but I'm not deliberately doing anything against the spirit of the game. Um, I don't know. I'll leave you guys to make your minds up on that. Um, considering my campaign right now is a bit delicate in terms of actual longevity. Uh, I, I could still get screwed over when everyone declares war on me again. I'm going to take it and take that as a mighty victory. So as they get pushed back to Ankara, obviously they hate us, but our first port of call is probably going to be... Oh, it's all steam-powered factories. Prosperous, prosperous, prosperous. Um, okay, I don't really want to knock down any of these, but I kind of have to. So they really hate us. So I'm going to exempt them from tax. Not that it's going to make any difference. In um, but the important thing is... Wait a minute, how are you there? Did you guys not get involved? Okay, I'm probably going to want to take the field army out. Put a stronger unit in. So the field army... At least, so the army in the field at least has the protection of other units. Um... But yeah, that's a pretty damn good win. Um, okay, well then let's just do some generic checks. I'm pretty sure everything's pretty sure everything's actually okay. Um, blockading everyone, well, everyone that we can. We can't do anything with Antigua because they won't let us leave. But apart from that, I think we're all good. Ah, a couple of. Damaged buildings still. Three turns to classic economics, which is great. We're on 18,000 a turn. Trade is being raided by you. Um, okay, Russia, let's peace out. Right, just peace. No, fair enough. I could actually go kill them, but I don't. I don't think I've actually got a good navy. In this part of the world. Oh, where have I got? I do have. Um, where's my navies? Ah, uh, yes, they're being re rebuilt after a few bad auto resolves, and they would be very useful here to block the transfer of Ottoman troops across the strait, but I can't actually uh, do anything about it with these ships. I mean, I could sacrifice a galley to sit here. To at least block them temporarily. It's probably also in my interest to take. Well, no, I've got no money. I don't really want to fight extra battles yet. I want my men to be in as good a shape as possible. Okay, so let's hit end turn. Ah, my spies are marching on. So, how will the mighty Ottomans uh, respond? There we go. They're going to go and kill that ship with their own not very good fleet. Oh, we didn't even take any with them. With us. But I suppose we only have two guns. Okay, thank God. They've only just drop them off in the uh, into the Balkans and they haven't actually done anything useful with them oh no they cancelled our destruction of buildings damn it now if we attempt to make peace with them will they listen to us I doubt it but it's worth a go We may as well give it a try. Okie dokie. Come on. I'm also going to do want some quite angry text. Got some quite, not bad text, but disruptive text coming in. Yeah, Rome is not actually very happy about it. Can't get the Royal Academy. Uh, let's pick up 
Some more militia. I don't really want to spend money on the militia, but kind of got to. I probably want to repair the High Porte, the Nehru Osmani Mosque. Army Staff College, Ordnance Board, and Naval College. Repairs across the board. So the army that's in there is now at full strength. You guys can continue on your way. I am going to destroy this guy, but I don't, I'm not really worried about that now. What I'm worried about is down here. What I'm interested to see if I can do is do this. So they hate us, but they are now at peace, and we can focus on subjugating this territory in peace. It does mean they shove off. So let's repair the seminary. Can push you guys up to about here. Repair this. I doubt they're going to be. That, that's not going to be a peace that lasts. But they are at least at war with Prussia, and Prussia is, is funneling men over towards them and good armies as well fleet destroyed yeah that was you port blockaded in port pay uh yep not a lot we can do about it though one more turn to rights of man then we can get well then we will start to work on abolition of slavery slavery to get the increased happiness per lower classes although to be honest i might want bologna on that to get it done quicker so I can get rid of the university here because right now it's causing a lot of unhappiness workers on strike in the Rumelia that's okay you should be starting to get better uh, okay where was it? it was this was the guy you who I stole an artillery unit from let's just drop one was it cavalry? no you've got some cavalry Pretty sure it's an artillery piece. There we go. Uh, for resi religious unrest is not actually that high anyway. Um, but I am going to obviously go and take Tripoli. But I'm probably not going to do it in this episode. This episode might actually be a couple of minutes short because I want to attack this fella. Um, but, to be honest, I personally don't want to fight a siege right now because I've just fought that last one. Um, but I can't really do anything else because I've got no money. So, apologies for the shortness, but hopefully you guys will appreciate me up, um, upping my baseline hour specials to every five episodes, plus the few that kind of leak over. So, wait a minute. How's that artillery unit got 68 men? Huh. Well, anyway... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the British garrison at Tripoli. Cheers, everyone.